What's up everybody, Phil Blackman with Barben.com and today we are going to cover the eight biggest moments from the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games. It was an epic competition week and there were a lot of epic firsts that happened. If you want to see any of our coverage from the CrossFit Games, just head over to Google, type in Barben CrossFit Games and all of that is going to come up. As the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games approached, there was little doubt that historic moments were guaranteed to come to fruition. The number of epic moments in Madison, Wisconsin was easily in the dozens, if not more. However, we have a breakdown of eight of them that are likely to spark fondness and awe in people's memories in the years to come as to why the 2021 Games were extraordinary. First up, Tia Claire Toomey is the GOAT. The notion that Toomey is the greatest strength athlete of all time before the 2021 CrossFit Games was perhaps debatable. Not so much now. By the final day of competition, her lead on the overall leaderboard was so large that the broadcast team ref routinely referred to the remaining competition as the, quote, coronation of Tia Claire Toomey. In addition to a record-tying fifth consecutive games win, she also shattered the record for most individual event wins ever. Next up, we have Justin Medeiros becoming the youngest ever fittest man on earth. Medeiros entered the 2020 CrossFit Games in his rookie season and left as the bronze medalist and the rookie of the year. He was the only man from the 2020 Games podium to compete in 2021, and he proved that his rookie year was no fluke. He was the overall leader in the men's division for the majority of the competition and ultimately clinched the title of fittest man on earth at just 22 years of age, the youngest ever to do it. Next up, we have Jana Koski's dominant performance in event one. Koski of Finland is notoriously proficient in the water. However, much of his young CrossFit career, he's only eight, he's only 26, has been plagued by injury that forced him to withdraw from many high-level events. However, for the 2021 games, he looked as strong as ever as he made his presence immediately felt on event one. The opening event of the games consisted of a mile-long swim followed by a three-mile kayak. Koski got out to an early lead furthered it throughout the event, and casually sauntered across the finish line two and a half minutes before the runner-up, Lazar Dusik, exited the water. Next up, we have Mallory O'Brien becoming the youngest athlete to ever win an event at the CrossFit Games. There were two teenage athletes in the women's division at the 2021 CrossFit Games, Emma Carey and Mallory O'Brien. They finished the games in 16th and 7th, respectively, overall. O'Brien received the Rookie of the Year award for that 7th place finish, and it was highlighted by a historically unique feat. In event four, against the top-ranked athletes in the field at that time, including Toomey, O'Brien paced the field, performing wall walks and thrusters more efficiently than anyone else. Her first place finish time of 13 minutes, 41.22 seconds, was over a half minute faster than the fittest woman on earth, and made her the youngest athlete to ever win an event at the CrossFit Games. Next up, we have Guillaume Maleros' incredible performance on the one rep snatch. His flawless technique in the snatch event caught the broadcast team and the crowd so off guard that the Brazilian seemingly became an instant fan favorite. He had tremendous speed under the barbell, caught it high, and would do the same gesture of pointing to the sky and or dabbing on his way back to the sidelines to await the next round. His opening snatch of 260 pounds looked identical to his winning snatch of 305 pounds, and it was a moment that will be remembered for years to come. Next up, we have the return of Annie Thoris' daughter. The two-time fittest woman on earth took the 2020 CrossFit Games season off as she was busy becoming a mom. But she returned to the Games in 2021 after finishing second worldwide in the 2021 Open despite her doubts that she was capable of competing at the highest level of competition anymore. During a post-competition interview, she actually admitted saying, quote, I wasn't even planning on being here. I didn't think I could compete, unquote. Of course, that couldn't have been further from the truth. Thoris' daughter not only stood on the podium as the bronze medalist at the 2021 Games, but constantly surprised herself throughout the competition. In what became the most memeable moment of the entire competition, Thoris' daughter assumed a face of absolute shock after catching a 200-pound snatch overhead in event 12. Moving over to the team's division, we have to talk about Team Mayhem's absolutely perfect day one of competition. For the 2021 games, Team Mayhem got a makeover with the additions of Taylor Williamson, Andrea Nisler, and Chase Hill, and dominated the competition from the open all the way through to the end of the games. And now moving over into the adaptive division, the top five athletes. 
from the open in the upper extremity, lower extremity, and neuromuscular classes were invited to compete, and they put on a show to remember. Whether it was Brett Horshar's dominance in the neuromuscular division or Logan Aldridge deadlifting 502 pounds, the debut of the adaptive division was a glaring success that could very well lead to its expansion in future games. As was the case in 2021, there are plenty of unknowns heading into 2022. Will Justin Medeiros concede the throne to a new contender, or it was 2021 the beginning of his own dynasty in the sport? We'll see if anyone can legitimately challenge Toomey for the title of fittest on earth. We're going to have to wait to see what happens. Those were the biggest moments from the 2021 CrossFit Games. I'm Phil Blackman for Barben.com. Thanks for watching.